Welcome to week three of DRWG2220. This week and next was going to be spent on sheet metal parts. So if we're going to work with sheet metal, one of the first things we want to do is come up here to our tabs at the ribbon bar, right click, go to the tabs, scroll down and turn on the sheet metal. So we'll come over here and now we see the sheet metal and just like a feature, only those things we can start with will be not grayed out. Now that we've added the sheet metal tab, we're gonna start creating some simple sheet metal parts. This diagram emphasizes all the basic sheet metal terms you should be familiar with when we work through our sheet metal projects. When a piece of metal is bent, the material past the neutral axis will stretch, while the material inside of the neutral axis will be compressed and the neutral axis is the plane through which the part does not stretch nor compress. The true length of the original material prior to bending can be found along this neutral axis, and the formula for determining the true length along the neutral axis is shown here. When the internal radius of the bend is less than two times the thickness of the material, a K value of 0.33 is used. And when the internal radius of the bend is more than two times the metal thickness, a K value of 0.5 is used.